Now let me get to the United Snakes of America. You Americans sitting there on your farmstead, farmhouse porch in Wyoming, looking over the land, watching your cattle, watching your horses. You didn't have a word to say when your government basically wiped Libya off the map, bombed Libya off the map, bomb Iraq off the map, bomb Syria, bomb Yemen, bomb Afghanistan, bomb Yugoslavia. You had nothing to say. You were cheering on your soldiers. But you never for one moment imagined what it must be like for a woman, a mother, digging through the rubble to try and find her children under that rubble for a husband digging into that rubble with his bare hands, trying to find his wife and his family, for a small child standing on that rubble, desperately trying to get to his parents that is buried under that rubble. You did not fucking pay attention. You just cheered your soldiers on. The vengeance of the universe is coming for you too. How it's going to eat you, I don't know. If I look at the science, I can see the first thing that's going to happen, they're going to take all your money away. Because your country, your leadership, has put you in debt that 10 generations cannot pay back. That's what they did. And you empowered them to do it. You could have stopped them if you wanted to, but you did not. And now, you will have to fight for your life. There's already of your cities where you guys, the whites, are minorities because of how much? I think they said 200 million immigrants that have streamed over your southern border already. 200 million, I don't know, millions, millions. I don't know, I don't know what the number, I can't remember the number. But millions of them. No, it's not 200 million. It must be in the millions. But because I saw a document that circulated at the UN in which Triple X clearly stated that they want 100 million immigrants in your country, then they will take your country over. That's you Americans, you guys, that can pose on the televisions and so as the strong ones, the unbeatable army. You're fucked. They're going to take your homeland away from you while you're waving the star spangled banners in other countries. They're going to take your homeland. You're going to find yourself in another country with fucking nowhere to go. And then they're going to come for you there. And there's not going to be help coming from their homeland because they won't be a fucking homeland. You, th you may think I'm talking through my neck. You better go and check what is the plans, the evil plans that is now being executed to get you executed. And I'm afraid those plans are so far along that you guys can't get out of it. You cannot negotiate yourself out of that shit. You will have to fight yourself out of that shit. Now, that's the difference between you and the Europeans and you and the British. Most of you Americans, and I'm talking about the conservative, right-minded people, most of you are capable fighters. And most of you can fight. And most of you are willing to fight. You are very much like us, the Buddha. So you have a chance, but you better take that fucking chance while you still have the numbers. The British and the Europeans are fucked. If they want to fight back, they are going to have to depend on people in their middle ages, because those are people that could still fight. But you guys in America, you need to open your eyes and wake up and understand they are going to fucking slaughter you in your homes. That is their plans. Whether they're going to succeed, this will be on your hands. I have a strong suspicion that they're going to get a lot of resistance and they're going to most probably lose against the conservatives. But those liberals in the cities, they are fucked. But it's good, going to be good riddance. That's what I say. So let me end this and just tell you what you guys have been doing around the globe killing, destroying, butchering, and stealing. You allowed your governments to do it. 
the universe is coming back for, re for revenge because the universal law is clear. It never allows anything to stay out of balance for too long and then the pendulum swings back. And if you are an objective thinker, a realist, and you look at facts, you don't look at bullshit, you have to come to the conclusion that payback is you're coming your way and you will have to decide how are you going to handle that payback. And I'm not saying for one minute that all of you needs to be wiped out. No, 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 I'm not saying that. But I'm saying to you that you, ordinary citizens of Europe, Britain, Canada, and USA, you allowed your governments to commit atrocities in your name. You allowed them, and now you will pay on behalf of them. They are not going to pay because they are too clever. They will deflect the shit onto you. So you not only have to fight the real enemy that comes for you, you will have to fight the snakes and the cockroaches in your midst as well. So you've got two enemies. The world enemy that is coming for revenge and the cockroach enemy, enemy that is in your midst. That is, some of them are your family. You have to do that. And that is going to be hell. Ask me as a boor. We have got the same problem here. These Afrikaners are evil and they are in among us. But we are willing to fight and we are capable. I know in America there's a lot of capable men. Europe got a major problem. I have a funny feeling. If I look at the people that are most vocal about the shit that is heading their way in Europe are women. It doesn't surprise me because I know and I've always believed that women are actually mentally stronger than men. Men relies a lot on muscle. Women knows that they can't rely on muscle. So they rely on inner strength. And I listen to Eva and I can hear, she's not going to be a pushover. And I can just imagine the attacks and resentment and brutality that is directed at her through Satan's cockroaches. I can imagine it. And she has my empathy because the cockroaches are determined to eat us. That's for sure. But I've said my say. You can listen to this. Think about it. You can switch away from the channel. You can be more of a angry. I mean, hell of a angry. But that's not my... That's not my problem. It's your problem. It is you that don't want to look reality in the eyes. For almost 80 years, you Europeans, Canadians, British and Americans allowed your governments to go around the world and kill people, destroy infrastructure, blow buildings to pieces that are 200 and 500 and 1,000 and 2,000 and 3,000 years old. You destroyed it, your governments, you allowed them. But I said this morning to a friend of mine, the biggest problem for the Americans is that they have never been placed in a position where missiles hit one of their big cities and blow three, four, five, six blocks away and they have to dig with their bare hands to find their loved ones under the rubble. You've never experienced it. You're sitting there, 80% of you are so obese you can't move properly, munching on your burgers and chips, watching your televisions, playing your TV games, while your government use your soldiers to butcher people on the other side of the globe from you. Doesn't touch you. You don't have to flee for your life. You've never had the need to flee for your life. But now, the triple X cockroaches is amongst you. They're gonna fucking eat you alive. They're gonna take your burger out of your hand before they slit your throat. You have got a big problem. But who am I? 
A boor here from South Africa. What the fuck do I know? I know nothing. But I'm telling you, I'm staring into the fire and I see the coals. But most important, I see the ashes. You got away with what you were doing to other people for too long. Your governments did the things in your name. Think about that. Please give me a like and a subscribe and share the thing. Thank you for your support.